Hello, have you ever thought of somebody and then the phone's rang and it's them? Or have you ever wondered how somebody is and pretty soon you receive news about how they are? These are examples of you exchanging energy because when you think about someone it's natural that your energy would go out to them and that gives permission for their energy to come into you. We exchange energy all of the time when we're talking to people, when we're thinking about them our energy is going out to them and their energy is coming back into us. This is perfectly natural. But what happens when we're in conflict with somebody is that our energy can be felt like a force inside of them. Have you ever had the experience with your children or with a partner or with a really good friend? It often happens with someone you care about. You think you're trying to help them but they seem to be wanting to run away from you and the reason is, is because your energy has felt like a force inside of them that they don't want. They don't feel that it's welcome, that it's an invasion. And all you're trying to do is help. But is it really helping them? If they're having the experience that they want to back away, that they don't want to be there, then the chances are you're not helping them. So how do you solve this? You solve this by being mindful of what you're doing with your energy by being aware of what you're doing with your energy. And you actually ask yourself simply, am I putting my energy inside of them, inside their energy field or literally inside their body? Or am I mindful of what I'm doing with my energy and where I'm going with it? And then the next thing you do is you retrieve your energy. Now I can give you an, ex an exercise to do this with, and I often do in my coaching sessions with people, because it really helps get rid of the energy that's in them that's not theirs because we need to be in our own energy field to be able to access our inner wisdom and our own intuition and we have clarity and focus often it's other people's energies that makes us confused that it actually acts like blinkers or clouds in front of our eyes and we can't focus we can't see straight and we can't do what we need to do so the best thing you can do for yourself and for the loved ones in your life is to lovingly exchange energy with them but if you have an agenda if you want them to do something if you want to change their mind or or change what they're doing then it's probably not a good idea I'm saying it's definitely not a good idea to put your energy inside of them so ask if you are and retrieve your energy back if you'd like to know more then put a comment in the section below or send me an email fiona dot sorry fiona at realenergyforall.com take care